Mark Simpson able to snare it. Mark Simpson, he clears the save by Simpson. I was a goalkeeper professionally for 13 years. And now I have the honor and opportunity to be a goalkeeper coach. It's different from the sidelines because now I have a bird's eye view of everything. There's a lot of geometry and mathematical equations going on in the sport of soccer. Obviously, the better that you are instinctively at, at dealing with those mathematical equations, the better soccer player you're going to be. The way we keep scoring soccer is uh, by goals. And the goal is allowed when the opponent kicks the ball over the, the end line uh, within the goal, the goal box. Each goal scored is equal to one point. The team that ends up winning is obviously the, the team that scores the most goals. The average speed of the soccer ball can get up to about 60 to 70 miles an hour. Uh, normally within the pace of the game, I like to think that the ball is still faster than the human. Statistics are important because I like to measure uh, if a goalkeeper is making more saves than goals allowed. Obviously you want to try to get the, the higher save percentage, as they call it, uh, up near 90% for a goalkeeper. Uh, that's considered a good percentage when the goalkeeper saves nine balls to every one allowed. Everything's instinctive. Um, the better instincts you have of what plays are going to happen, uh, the better you become. The goalkeeper in soccer is the last line of defense, therefore has the best opportunity in which to see the whole field at the same time. He organizes his defense, pulls his midfielders uh, where they need to be, his defenders. Um, he can see the whole field and therefore see all the plays that are developing and therefore put people in the right spots if necessary. The goalkeeper can read a shot by how fast it's coming, whether it's got a lot of spin on it or no spin at all. A goalkeeper could read a, a striker as well when he plants his non-kicking foot. Usually it's pointed in the direction of where he wants the ball to go. One important part about the sport of soccer is it's a flowing game. We want to keep our team shape, um, and that's obviously loading uh, the side of the ball in which it comes down, which is called the strong side. Uh, the weak side is where the play is not happening. We want to tuck those players towards the middle uh, to give support to the strong side. It's important uh, in the game of soccer to have that team shape um, because you're always covering for someone that may make a mistake. The plays in soccer come from three sections of the field, down the middle, to your right, and to your left. If an opponent attacks down the right side, there's an overloaded amount of players on that side. And usually when a goalkeeper takes the ball clean, he wants to be able to distribute to the opposite side of the field and get the play going. The goalkeeper reads the play by uh, seeing how many attacking players are on one side. We strategically place our players on the field in different formations. I think it's important um, to understand just the geometry of the game. Keeping triangles on the field when we do have possession is very important. It gives the player with the ball different options. If a player here is being taking a shot on my goalkeeper, if he's flat on his line, has to move four yards each way because your goal is eight yards across. If he comes out here and stands on his six yard box, uh, determining that angle now, the, uh, the distance from here to here is a lot smaller than from here to there. In the sport of soccer, uh, at the professional level, to react quickly is just not good enough anymore. You have to be able to read the game, anticipating where the play is going to happen. 